If you are new to Stream Deck, or maybe you already use a Stream Deck but feel you're not using it to its full potential, then this series of videos is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and this is the fifth in the series of videos that I've done, which is essentially a beginner's guide to Stream Deck. So uh, this is probably the final one of the beginner's guide and then we'll move on to something a little bit more uh, application specific and also the advanced guide as well. But so far we've looked at uh, in video one, I talked about the different kinds of Stream Deck that are available and uh, essentially what it does and then in video two we looked at how to go through the initial setup and set up your home screen and add on some uh, basic actions then in video three we looked at some of the uh, plugins that you can get for stream deck and how you can add more sort of application specific actions to your stream deck and then finally in the last video video four uh, i ran through some different methods you can use to uh, acquire and add <laughs> icons to your stream deck to make it look a little bit prettier well the final thing that we're going to look at today is how you can uh, use the store on the uh, Stream Deck. I've already touched on it on a couple of the videos, but we're just going to take a little bit more of a look at some of the features of that. And we're going to move on to the soundboard feature of Stream Deck. Bearing in mind that originally the Stream Deck, as I've mentioned, was designed for uh, streamers. And so uh, often introducing music and sound effects to their streams uh, was one of the use cases for it. So uh, we will just now take a little look at that. So I'm going to come over to my screen sharing. I've abandoned the little uh, small demo screen that I had. And here is my screen that I'm on at the moment on my uh, Stream Deck XL and I've created a little folder. Now I did mention before it's always best to use profiles when you're setting up main uh, your main sort of screens that you're going to use uh, back in one of the other videos. However sometimes if you just want a little ad hoc space to do some development on some icons or something like that or some actions try something else uh, out then you can just add a little folder and so that's what I've done here because I will be deleting this after this little demonstration. So if we go into that folder we've now got a blank space. So we'll add some actions on here in a minute, but first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a little look around uh, the store. So I'll come into here. And as always, it's opened up on my other monitor. So often the way. <laughs> so here is the uh, the store. And uh, as I mentioned before, there's nothing for sale in here. It is all free at the moment, but no doubt they will be uh, allowing third party developers to sell things in here at some point in the future. Uh, but it does give you a few different things in here. Uh, and it's uh, these are little articles and links to different things uh, so they are featuring different uh, developers and uh, different products and things like that that you can use with your stream deck so that is what is on this little front splash page uh, next we have the plugins if you remember from the previous video video number three I believe <laughs> this is where we came to get our plugins and so uh, we've already touched on this but just to recap uh, these are where you can add some specific actions to your um, stream deck that you can't do with keyboard shortcuts and it's a case of just coming down here and looking at the uh, different developers and the different applications so there's the zoom plugin and so on uh, there's one for Phil Philips Hue I don't use Philips Hue lights but you could add that one in and then just control your lighting setup with a touch of a stream deck button and uh, all sorts of other ones uh, as well so as I say we covered that a little bit really didn't we <laughs> so the next one is the icons and we looked at that in the last video which is a place where you can get different icon sets for your uh, stream deck and they are split as well by either artistic or for specific games general or stream deck so uh, these are from uh, uh, Elgato themselves this is actually their Wavelink icons so Wavelink is for the Elgato range of microphones that Al uh, the uh, wave <laughs> range of microphones uh, so these as I say we've already looked at but the one area or the two <laughs> tabs that we didn't actually look at before was the music section and the sound effects and that is because in release version uh, 5 of the software uh, the Stream Deck software they did introduce this free stock music uh, section and this allows you to download uh, tracks that you can use freely in your uh, in your productions now uh, in here you have uh, uh, I believe uh, it says 10,000 plus songs and I can just play one of them so if I just click on the play you get to preview it so hopefully that should start playing 
and you can search by genre and all sorts of other things. The one thing I will say, <laughs> if you're trying to make high quality productions, these are not really the best songs. They are a little bit uh, sort of generic and certainly not made by the top artists. They are very much, uh, uh, I don't know how to describe them. Maybe I can play another one and you can see what I mean. So this one called Morning Sun. <laughs> Let's have a listen. There you go, this one, A New Dawn. It's giving you a bit of an impression, really, isn't it, of uh, the sort of music that you can get on there. They are, as I say, very sort of generic and uh, uh, not a great deal of thought or expression has gone into them. Uh, far better than that. I would recommend if you are going to be doing some serious video production and uh, YouTube production or creating any other sort of content, then a far better option for me personally is Epidemic Sounds. That's where I use uh, get the music for any productions that I make and for these videos, the intro music and the outro music, for example. And you can get a free trial of Epidemic by heading over to takeonetech.io slash Epidemic. And uh, basically there you've got a vast library of uh, thousands and thousands of songs in all kinds of different uh, genres. You can search by the mood, by the genre, by the artist and there's some real quality artists on there making some absolutely great music and uh, you simply pay a monthly fee and then that allows you to use those tracks in uh, multiple different places so you can use it on all your uh, YouTube vi uh, videos in your Facebook videos anywhere that you're going to put your content out uh, the only proviso is that it is one uh, sort of uh, social media profile per uh, platform so one YouTube channel one Facebook page and so on if you, div, if you do have multiple different uh, Facebook, uh, if, multiple different YouTube channels rather, serving different audiences, then you would need some sort of license for each one. There are different tiers to the uh, membership as well, so you can have multiple ones on, on different levels of membership. But it is, as I say, a really great resource, and then you know that everything is uh, perfectly legal and copyright uh, free, and you are totally entitled to use that on your uh in your productions as I say <laughs> so with that little digression I'll just come back to here because uh, it is useful to know that there is music and things like that in here what you might find maybe a little more interesting depending on the sort of productions you're making is they do have a sound effect library and presumably those are a little bit more uh, realistic or true to uh, whatever it is now watch this I'm going to pick something that's going to be absolutely rubbish <laughs> but we'll find out uh, lightning bolt and thunder crack I'm not sure There you go. It did sound a little bit like thunder and lightning, didn't it? Personally, I'm not a great big sound effects guy, as you might have noticed if you've watched any of my videos. I don't have lots of uh, swooshing noises and things like that uh, on my transitions. But if you did have those sorts of things, then this is where you could get some of those sound effects. So I would certainly say it's worth at least having a look before you uh, do sign up to a subscription service like Epidemic. Maybe you just get lucky and find a piece of music or the sound effect you want. And after all, it is all built in there. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can just simply go and just the same as before when we looked at the plugins and uh, the icon packs, you can simply just download them from here. So uh, if I come back out of this for a moment and I'll go back into my little folder and where we would add these to our stream deck is if you come over to this side you'll see a thing called soundboard and then you'll just simply drag on uh, a button here so this is play audio and then what you do here is uh, having downloaded the track in fact let me just go and download one because there's no point me showing you if I haven't actually done it myself, is there? <laughs> I have downloaded one before, but I just want to show you the process. So I downloaded that one before. So let me just quickly grab this one. What's this? There you go. Well, let's just take that for the sake of argument. I'm not sure I'll be using it, but I'll download it nevertheless. And uh, you should just think about that for a moment. And then as you can see, it's downloaded it. Now this is called Fast Strong Wind Swooshes. So I'll just move this one out of the way. And now where we've added that thing to the soundboard, if I come to the file and I click on choose, it should, with a bit of luck, open me straight up into the area where it downloads those files. And would you look at that? There it is. So that has come in here and it is this one. Uh, it's automatically opened up in the right folder where Stream Deck has downloaded those two. And it was that audio file. So if I click on open now, 
Uh, that has now assigned that uh, that audio file to this button and then you've got a couple of actions so you can say play and stop or you might want it to uh, restart or loop and stop or uh, play and overlap with uh, another track or whatever. Uh, you can add a fade, so if you want it to fade in or fade out. So for example, that's how you would do it if you'd got a, uh, say, intro music or something like that, and you wanted to add a fade so that it faded the music out at the end or faded in, which, whichever it was. And then obviously you can change the title of it and you can also adjust the volume. But now when I press that button on my stream deck, which I'm going to do now, there you go, it's played the sound effect. So that is how you would add, <laughs> and I'll stop it, <laughs> that is how you would add uh, sound effects uh, to your Stream Deck, and that is really the last part of the uh, Stream Deck store. So with that, with everything that we've covered there, I think that pretty much wraps up the basic introduction to the Stream Deck. And uh, hopefully now you can see uh, how you can set it up. You've got an idea of how to use those uh, that home screen and use profiles to switch between the various views you have, just like I have on my screen here. In fact, if I just quickly recap, so here is my profile. So this is, as you can see, my TOT, Take One Tech recording profile. If I press this home button, it will take me back to my home profile. So if I just click this down arrow, you'll see all of the different profiles that I've got. And then, so these ones in the center here, the center two rows are all of my different profiles for my different applications and my sort of work modes. Uh, these ones up at the top, you'll know now, are my media controls that I accessed from uh, in my previous video from the uh, media controls. And the uh, from the sorry, I beg your pardon, from the system controls and the multimedia uh, action. Uh, then I can switch between my spaces here on my Mac. These are just simple shortcuts. So you can see that's my hotkey, uh, co uh, control right arrow switches between my spaces on my Mac. And then these ones are actually uh, just simply a text. So if you remember the one for uh, writing out text, this action from the side, I've simply copied in or pasted in the emoji that I want. So every time I press that button, it simply types out that single emoji character. Uh, then uh, this one is a folder, but it's not actually a folder. It's a, it's a <laughs> it is a profile that looks like a folder, but still. Uh, and then this is to open my system preferences. And this one is for my dictation. But hopefully now, even though maybe in the beginning, this might have all looked a little bit more complex, it is actually all uh, quite uh, straightforward and simple. And you should know how to do all of this now from the videos I've produced so far in this series. But if there is anything that isn't entirely clear, because Often it's the case that when you are familiar with something and you are used to using it, uh, there is sometimes things that I forget and I miss out and it's not intentional. <laughs> I don't mean to leave anything out of these tutorials. I do hope that they uh, are as thorough as possible. But if I have missed anything out, then please go ahead and let me know in the comments or if anything could have been explained better, let me know. I'm always happy to uh, improve on the content that I'm producing. Uh, but as ever, if you have found it useful, please go and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and also share it with any other Stream Deck users you may know if you think that they would find it useful. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in some of the other videos because as I say, this isn't the end of my Stream Deck series. It's just the end of the beginner series. Next, we're going to move on to some of the more advanced uh, videos and also some of the more sort of niche use cases that I have for it. So I'll be making those videos shortly. <laughs> but in the meantime, there are plenty more coming up next in the Stream Deck playlist to your right. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.